Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna cover an important topic today from a uh, security standpoint for those who are new to living in Israel uh, or not so new, and that's about how to find your nearest uh, bomb shelter. Now, I'm not doing this uh, video today for no reason. I'm doing it because tomorrow is the very controversial uh, flag march during Jerusalem Day. Two years ago, uh, last year, was it only last year? This resulted in Hamas firing rockets on Jerusalem and kicked off a 11-day uh, war and they have threatened to uh, launch more weapons again uh, rockets if the flag march goes ahead through Damascus gates so it's a serious business uh, and it's important anyway to know this kind of stuff if you're living here because even though the day-to-day -day life in uh, Jerusalem is pretty normal uh, now and again uh, tensions flare up and fortunately in this part of the world uh, we can expect that, that dynamic will continue so uh, this is the Iriat Yerushalayim website. I've lived in Jerusalem for the duration of my time in Israel. I'm sure that every municipality has its own uh, website. Uh, so this says in Hebrew, Miklatim <clears throat> Siburiim, excuse me, which means public shelter. So if you haven't come across this essential piece of vocab, bomb shelter in Hebrew is Miklat. So I'm gonna let you hear it from a proper Hebrew speaker now. Hope that came through the microphone. One more time. Miklat. Okay, so bomb shelter is a miklat. And if you're looking for how to find this, uh, you can go into Google and type in, now my top top tip, all time top tip for finding out information in Hebrew is to always search, if you can type in Hebrew, uh, type in Hebrew. Miklatim, Biyarushalayim for instance. Um, it, it, you'll just have a much easier time than finding the smaller amount of results that get translated into Hebrew. So this is Miklatim Siburiim. You can see that there are 206 uh, uh, public bomb shelters in Jerusalem. You can export as a XL, XLS uh, for a spreadsheet or a PDF. But what you probably, all you probably want to know about is, um, you know, the ones that are close to you. So firstly, Shchuna, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so it's easier for you guys to see. Shchuna is neighborhood. Mispar Miklat is the shelter number. Each shelter has an it has a uh, individual identifier. Ketovet is the address. Uh, Sug is um, the type of bomb shelter that it is, and Shetach is the area. And I presume this is in square meters, so that should give you an idea of uh, capacity. So starting with, for example, this one, Abu Tor six seven eight. Uh, Nachshon Shalosh. Now each time you click on the uh, address of a bomb shelter um, it will link off to Waze actually. Um, I don't think that's as useful actually as uh, Google Maps but it has the exact geolocation here so you can find out exactly uh, where that bomb shelter is located but you can also just copy and paste the address into Google Maps. So let's say you lived in and it's organized by neighborhood right so let's say you lived in uh, you can see here in Beit Vagan, there's actually only two shelters, um, Beit Vagan 39 and this. But if you lived in, let's say, Merkaz Ha'ir, you have a lot of shelters. Now, to be honest, in my opinion, this isn't the greatest way of presenting this information as a big list like this. Uh, there may be a map functionality that I'm missing, but another way you can do this, there's also English, so because this is such an important result, resource they've translated this into into English so you can see in Baca uh, for instance we have a number of shelters Esther Malka Sheish Hebron Road 54 etc etc um, there's also this website called the Jerusalem GIS it's at uh, if you search Google for Jerusalem GIS it's the geographical information system and I've talked about this many times before and there's a layer for Miklat team so if you type in Miklat shelter there's a layer here for Miklatim Siburiim. And this way, rather than looking through a spreadsheet, uh, you can find a map which has, so it's just an easier way. So if you click on one, sometimes it's a little bit buggy, unfortunately, um, but you should theoretically, this might make the job a bit easier. You can correlate um, the public shelters with, uh, yeah, it's just not giving me that info I'm looking for supposed to ah, here we go so this is what you're this is what's supposed to happen so this is um 644 it doesn't give you the street address so i guess you need to correlate 
this was this. So it's probably better just to use this. In any event, you only need to know the one, two or three you know, closest uh, Mikla team in your area and then maybe put that up on your uh, um, you know, uh, fridge. Hope you never have to use the information, but if you do, it's also worth paying a visit uh, to them because sometimes they're a little bit hard to find. They can be uh, in times of non-warfare locked, in fact, um, but in times where there's hostilities, the area will open them and announce they're opened, but they can be kind of hard to find. You'll get to this address and you'll be like, oh, where's the Miklat? Sometimes it's downstairs. So it's well worth if you're staying in an area, going through this list, finding your nearest public uh, shelter, Miklat, and making uh, during, during times of peace when everything's normal, making a quick expedition to all these ones to check where they are, take some photographs maybe, uh, so you know what, so you and your loved ones know what you're looking for in the event that they're ever needed. And uh, if there are, God, God forbid, rockets on Jerusalem again, you'll know where to, uh, where to go to. So I hope this has been useful for anybody. I hope this information will not be needed, of course. Uh, but if it is, these are the resources uh, online. I'm sure there's more of them as well for finding out where your nearest uh, shelter is uh, for bombs and missiles and other things like that in Jerusalem. Thank you guys for watching.